from Waffle House and two lemon filled donuts away from being on that show. Boy, what? And I'm sitting here thinking something really wrong with your spatula grip. Nerf or nothing. Hey, it is. Baby, I'm, I'm for real, man. Why you trying to jump? I ain't trying to come in the bathroom while you taking a shower in, in one of them fat folks chairs. Talking about, son, hook the pressure washer up. And get that booty butter out my rolls for me. Telling me to come help you get off the toilet. I, I ain't trying to smell that, daddy. You you already be having the whole house lit up. Your boo-boo be air freshener resistant. Mm-hmm. And what you think yours smell like? Beyonce bath water. <laughs> Boy, you a trip. Nah, you, you need to take a trip. Around a track. A park. The world, matter of fact. In in science class, we learned that the Earth is 7,917 miles wide. Maybe, maybe if you do that, you'll lose 10 pounds. Man, how your imagination so wide at six years old, though? Because your back wide. I, I be trying to see if I can fill it up with ideals. But... But for real though, Daddy, I I said all this cause cause I love my mama and and I walked by her room and and I heard you told her that that you was gonna eat her. Boy, I didn't mean literally eat her. Well, what 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 you meant then, Daddy? Oh, uh, well, I meant I. Shit, boy just remain calm. We ain't even do nothing. We just pulled up on the side to have a little talk. Oh, it's a female cop anyway. We Gucci, boy. Watch your old man turn the charm on. Good evening, sir. How you doing today? Oh, I'm good, sweet thing. You looking good in that uniform, too. Mrs. Officer. <laughs> you know I had it in me, did. But me and my son just pulled over to have a little talk. You feel me? You know you gotta address the emotional needs in the moment. You know, gentle parenting. I applaud your attention to detail. But did you realize you pulled over in a toe zone? And I definitely don't need you to tell me how I look in my uniform. Let me see your license and registration. Oh, my bad, baby. I just can't move the car. I know you didn't just call me baby. License and registration, please. Man, we ain't got to do all that, do we? License and registration, please. All right, all right. Here. Hold on. Ronald, that's you? We went to high school together. We did? What's your name? Larissa. 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 
Larissa Crawford? Yes, that's me. Girl, you done lost a few peas, didn't you? Mm-hmm, and you done gained a few. A few? Yeah, I started working out, got my life together, and joined the police force. I was not finna be on my 600-pound life. Hmm, I know that's real still. Well, I'm so glad it's you. Classmate, let me get that ID so I can get this boy home. Mm, mm mm. What you mean, mm mm? I ran your tag when I pulled up. You got an unpaid parking ticket from 1998. Oh shit! Oh shit! 98? Come on now, LaRose. 98 though? Yep, 98. The year I asked you to go to the spring dance with me and you lied and said you wasn't going. Oh! You just didn't want to be seen with me because I was big. Somebody! Then I get there and you're there with that big waterhead ass girl, Keisha. Alright now, lady, you you fine, but you ain't that damn fine. I know you ain't talking about my mama head. Oh, oh, stale vanilla wafer head, lady. You you look like some throwaway banana pudding. But with that weak old lace friend. My, my mama can get you some new hair while you playing. Toasty! Oh, you definitely going to jail now? Man, what? I'm going to jail because he clapping back by his mama? That's, that's bull. Call your mama, man. The little boy is calling his mother. I'm going to need some backup. All right, fellas. Remove your clothes. What's your name? Big, big, big run. Hmm. Big run, huh? All right, now. Spread your cheeks. What? What's your? Wilt or without? Wilt or without? Here, kind of name that is. Wilt or without? What's your last name? Vaseline. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! You ain't shit. Listen to me, son. When we got guests here, I don't need none of your shenanigans and pranks and stuff like that. When they arrive. Just take your Lanair butt on to the room somewhere. We got to keep this professional. You hear me? Say what? Why? Why y'all trying to dim my light, mama? Why? Why must I be a prisoner in my own home? In my own room? You, you gonna slide my cheese sticks under the door too? Dim your light. Boy, you are so dramatic. We just trying to protect you, that's all. Protect me? Protect me how? Because, boy, we know you crazy, and we don't tell nobody. If one of these guests see what's going on in here, they gonna call them people. And you gonna be bouncing off in a padded room off the walls and the floor. Ooh, mama, that, that sounds fun. I, I can't wait. I'm, I'm gonna be in there playing slam ball. See what I mean? Ain't no hope. Run, you ain't done up in there? All you was doing was hanging up some curtains. Woman, don't rush me. Them curtains were high as Bobby Brown on that Ja Rule video. What I look like a damn giraffe to you? I had to stand in that chair right there. Nah, I don't know about a giraffe. Maybe a hippo. Oh my goodness. We need to call 911. Quick, hurry up. What's wrong? Why we need to call 911? Cause my, my daddy just broke the legs on that chair. You, you just paralyzed the chill, daddy. That, that gotta be a crime. I'm about sick of your astronaut helmet head ass. All jokes on me today, huh? Alright. Alright, y'all. Our guests are here. Act normal, hell. Run, go answer the door. Man, I'm sweaty, Keisha. What else is new? When are you not sweaty? Man, why I'm the butt of all the jokes? No, why? Why your butt always out? You, you got crank out like it's a drug bus, daddy. All right, y'all, hush now. Run, get the door. What's up, man? 
My name is Big Ron. Welcome to Casse D. Bushes. Hello, my name is Thaddeus. I will be your guest for the evening. You're a big one. Man, what? You too, ain't it? Um, hey, Mr. Thaddeus. I'm Keisha. Let me help you to your room. Mr. Thaddeus, the bathroom is the last door on the left. Are you going to be able to make it through here yourself? Oh, uh, yeah. I can go anywhere I want as long as I have my stick. Okay, great. My son's room is right down from yours. Now let him know if you need anything. His name is Run Run. Yes, ma'am. Man, this dude flushed the toilet about a hundred times. Let, let me see what this man doing. He, he must have ate some church's chicken. Man, something seems a little bit different in here. Hmm. Run, run. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Is, is that you, Morpheus? It's Thaddeus. But yes, yes, I just want to get some fresh air. Oh, okay, uh, I was just checking because I thought I was hearing something. Okay. Man, I'm hungry now. I'm, I'm finna warm my cheese sticks up. Oh no, somebody in the mess up big time. Well, where my cheese sticks at? Ain't nothing in here but my mama nasty leftover collard greens. And the TV gone. More fresh air, huh, Morpheus? That is, but no. I had a phone call. Oh, really? Must, must be setting up a blind date. Somebody! Ha ha, funny. I, I know how I'm gonna get him. I, I got some red sauce in the cabinet. Watch this. Aha! Got you. <laughs> Man, what the hell going on up in here? Mo Morpheus was trying to rob us, daddy. Look, your TV gone and, and he took my cheese sticks. But I had set up a booby trap and and pour Mama collard green juice on the floor, and he had slipped on it and fell. I heard that. You ain't even blind, is you? Thiefy wonder. Baby, take them handcuffs off so I can put them on this thief. Handcuffs? My, my mama must been stealing too. You ain't shit. on me. The world need a new superhero. Somebody who is a savior with the sauce. Somebody who got swag when they tag the bad guys. Up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Little Boy. Yeah! Boy, what the hell is you doing up here? You ain't no member of Chris Cross. Every five minutes, you want to jump, jump. Who you think you is? I'm, I'm a little boy, mama. Little boy? <laughs> What's wrong with you, baby? You bumped your head. Where you get that name from? The, the way I be fighting crime be too lit. That's, that's why my name little boy. Mm-hmm. I'm fine. And, and look, I ordered this custom costume, too. Ooh. Boy, let me see that thing. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Where you get this from? I I ordered it, Mama. Mhm. Mm With what money? Give me your phone, cause see. I told your Lego blockhead ass to delete my call information off your phone. But I, I did take it off, Mom. Well, how you order this suit? I, 
I ordered it off your phone, mama. You, you said don't order nothing off my phone. You didn't say I can't use yours. Hmm. What's today? Huh? Why? Why you ask me that? Answer my question, boy. It's, it's Thursday, ma. So what you doing Friday through Tuesday? Mama, I, I don't know. I hope living. If the Lord say the same, why you ask me that? Cause I'm finna knock your ass into the middle of next week. I just wanted to make sure you ain't have no plans. Cause you playing with the wrong one. Talking about if the Lord say the same. Boy, is you six or sixty? Man, I'm six. You the one that's sixty. What you say? I I said I'm quick with the blicky. The blicky? What is the blicky? You know. No, I don't. The glizzy. Is that a donut or something? No, ma. The the tule. You better not be in there playing in your daddy toolbox. He love them wrenches more than he love me. No, mama. He he ain't gonna love you if you a wrench. My my daddy like ratchets. That's that's all he be talking about. Mm-hmm. That sound about right with his fat ass. He talking about he working late at the shop tonight. Talking about they doing a custom job for somebody real important. So go in there and clean that kitchen up before he get home. See, my my mama don't believe in me. I'm going to have to show her that I know how to fight crime for real. It's Liddy! Wait a minute. That's, that's in my backyard. See, man, I, I told my mama crime must be fought. This city don't deserve me, man. I'm going to Gotham. I, I gotta show my mama so, so she can see I was right. See, mama, I, I told you. You see why I bought this costume now? Nah. We got to fight crime in our own backyard. Yeah, I see, baby. But I'm scared. I tried to call your daddy. He ain't answering the phone. We might need to call the popo. We we ain't calling no popo. When, when my daddy ain't here, I'm the man of the house. We ain't calling 12. We, we black. They ain't coming anyway. I... I got leftover collard green juice in, in this water gun. So, so when we go over there, I'm going to spray this in his mouth because cause you know your green's nasty. You a lie. My green's ain't nasty. Yes, they is, mama. Some, some stuff you just got to lead to Gigi because cause don't nobody greens hit like Gigi's. Yep, mm-hmm. Gigi green's real good. Well, y'all always eat them. Nah. We, we always put them on our plate, and, and as soon as you ain't licking. I ain't cooking y'all shit else. Thank you for understanding, Ma. I hope this man get your ass, talking about my greens and my cooking. Hmm. Shh, Mama. It, it sounds like he talking, so I'm going to spray him with the collard green juice. Then, then you mace him and hit him with the skillet in the head. Let's get closer so we can see what he's saying. He might be calling his passe. I could tell you was on that look. Cause that box was so weird. I had it in my lap. Now I gotta chain my damn draw. And what if my girl up? I'm gonna have to give it to her before I can even take a bath. What if it fit different? She gonna notice. Oh shit! Oh shit! Um, who the hell is you in here talking to? Because I know it ain't Jake from State Farm. Give me that damn phone. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, his box wet run. You is a freak freak. Keisha, I know you see me holding this damn box, girl. That's my brother anyway. He was going to the fender store for him. I gave him some money to get this dress I seen Nicki Minaj in. But I wanted you to try it on for me. So I bought a little Hennessy just to set the mood. But this fool opened the liquor and spilled it on the box. 
That's why I'm out here fussing at him. You tripping. <sighs> Taste, mama. Nasty, ain't it? Just like your attitude. Yep. Mm-hmm. Daddy, what? Where we going? To your side piece house? I, I could have been playing Call of Duty or something. Or 2K. Boy, I'ma start putting your legs in the full Nelson every time you say something crazy. I'm a changed man now. The only side pieces I'm worried about is biscuits and mashed potatoes. Uh-uh, daddy, you... You been worried about that, even when you was out here thotting. I, I bet it's still in your system, too. I, I know you ain't thinking about buying no hoochie dad shorts. Boy, heck no. I ain't finna put no damn mantis on. Mantis? What, what's that? Man, panties. Oh, cause, cause your thighs be rubbing together anyway. In, in science class, we learned that friction creates heat. And he's created fire. So, so if you wear them shorts, daddy, you, you gonna need a volunteer fire department to follow you. Mm-hmm. Boy, your airbag getting a kill severe. Monte Carlo T-top. PT cruise ahead ass. All we trying to be funny. Man, daddy, get your hot air balloon. Little leg. Big belly. Bad belt. Q-tip head on somewhere. Toasty! Shit, now. Nah. Boy, you ain't watching no more episodes of Wildin' Night. You just smoked me. Well, where we going though, Daddy? You coming with me to work, son. But, but you ain't got on your work clothes. And, and this ain't the way to your job. <laughs> Boy, I got the shop down there on autopilot. I ain't got to be there as much no more. So now we opening up the extra space in the house for Airbnb. And we going to do Uber and DoorDash. Eventually, we going to move out and get a bigger and better house and provide a good future for you and your sister. And your mama, she gonna get her little hair shop. But in order to do that, we gotta be on the grind constantly. We can't leave nothing on the table, son. We gotta get it all, you feel? Well, congratulations, daddy, cause, cause your teeth been grinding. When you chewing and when you sleep. And, and I ain't never seen you leave nothing on the table. We, we ain't never gotta worry about roaches, cause, cause it ain't no crumbs. Man, I'm about sick of you. Your ass rhyme with me and that's that. You gotta learn to value hard work. It's a man's job to provide. Everybody gotta hold their weight around here. Especially me and you, cause we the men of the house. But, how much weight we gotta hold? Cause, cause if you ain't holding enough right now, I don't know if we gonna make it that, buddy. Boy, hush, man. We picking up our first rider. And don't be in here trying to jank and harass the customer. What's going on there, little player? And how you doing, big player? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mike. However, the players and pimps have christened me Money Mike. What up, Mike? He a huge player. Well, shut up. No, he's right, sir. I should have put more respect on your pimping. Because pimping is big business. The power of life and pimp is in the tongue. So as a pimp speaks, therefore he is. You smell me? I smell you. You you got that cologne on like my granddaddy Otis. You you must have been in World War II. <laughs> Lord, boy, please hush. I'm Big Run, man. And this little snare drum head dude is my son, Run Run. Don't pay him no attention, Mike. These damn kids just watch too much TV these days. That's okay. A pimple don't speak his mind is weak at times. We just seek and find chicks we can keep in line. <laughs> I see we headed to Lowe's. What you picking up some for a DIY project? Nah, man, I'm actually just picking up some vice grips. What? What them for? What they do? So I can tell <laughs> to tighten up. <laughs> All right, Mike, we at Lowe's. Stay here, pimpin', I'll be right back. Excuse me, player, <laughs> can you point me in the direction of the vice grips? Somebody! 
Temp down, 1132, 187. I think he's trying a 69. Pimp in distress, help! Oh, hell no. Man, y'all seen the game last night? Boy, Steph Curry was shooting the leather off that thing last night. I'm gonna shoot just like that when I grow up. Well, shut up. You can't even shoot the breeze. I'm glad hating ain't a sport, because if it was, you'll be the MVP. Wrong on. Why are you so quiet today? Man, I ain't get no sleep last night. Why not? You had a bad dream? Nope. You stayed up playing 2K? Nope. I ain't. I ain't even play the game last night. What happened then? I, I think my daddy got a new job as a police officer because cause he changed his name and, and he arrested my mama. Mm-hmm. What? Yep, but they thought I was asleep, but, but I heard the whole thing. And, and it sounded like they were playing more to come back. <laughs> but, but my dad was like, come here, girl. You been a bad girl. Now pass me my handcuffs. Then, then my mama was like, Yes, sir, Officer Swain Low. Swain Low? Mm-hmm. Swain Low, man. Then, then he was like, You got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't be used against you. Well, everything gonna be used against her, cause, cause after that, her was not silent at all. For like two, maybe three minutes, I I was scared to come out my room. What? I I was up worried all night. Then then she ain't even wake me up for school this morning. When I got up, she was sleep on the floor in the living room, and and my daddy was laying on the kitchen table. He he had on a police shirt, a hat, and his drawers. What? But y'all. Y'all ready for the school play? I'ma be Romeo. Yeah. Man, I don't want to do no Romeo and Juliet. That's weak sauce. Why Call of Duty ain't got no play? Man, y'all heard about the new dude? He in that class. He on his way down the hall right now. So what's so special about him? Man, they said that dude got kicked out of his other school for flushing a kid down the toilet. What? I don't even like public boo-boo facilities. Man, come on, Ricky. Y'all, y'all worry about the wrong thing. This our school. We run this. Y'all act like we ain't us. Come on, man. We been doing this since daycare. And, and y'all gonna wait till we get all the way in first grade to start tripping. E <laughs> Hey y'all, that's, that's the dude that took my firecrackers on the 4th of July. Junior, Junior! Lord, I, I'm coming as humbly as I know how. I, I need you to give me the strength of my daddy's box spring, Lord. Give me the strength of my Gigi denture glue. Somebody! Yeah, here he come, Lord. You pretty, and you smell so good. What is that? Well, I ate some Fruity Pebbles for breakfast. Oh, for real? That's my favorite cereal. Roman, I know you ain't gonna let this happen. Man, you gonna have to fight to prove your love. What's your name? Jasmine, what's yours? Junior Junior? Junior Junior, what kind of name is that? Well, my daddy named Junior Senior, and he named me after him. So what you doing later? I would love to take you to snack time. Bruh, he just asked your girl out to snack time, and she entertaining it. Let her go, bruh. She for the streets. You got a decision to make. You gonna be Future or Russell Wilson? Let her go, bruh. Well, I gotta get ready for a school play. I'm playing Juliet. For real? 
My school did that play like three times already. I already know the parts. I'm gonna be Romeo. Excuse me, little daddy. That role I already taken. For real? I'm Romeo. Unless you're talking about doing ICDC commercials. I'm Romeo. If, if you think you just gonna come to my school and, and run things, you can just hang it up, buddy. Hang it up, huh? I ain't scared of you, dude. Man, run around the G. You heard me, bro. Hang it up. <sighs> All right. Bet. <laughs> Ron, get your behind off of that flagpole. I'm gonna I'm need a little help, Mr. Adams. It's rotting. What's rotting? The fruit. What fruit? The fruit of the loom. I can taste it, Mr. Adams. You ain't shit. Man, why you ain't got on your Romeo costume? Man, Junior Junior deboed me. Look at him. The costume too lit anyway. Man, we gotta jump him. If we die, we die. No, if, if we do that, we gonna get jumped. Ricky gonna run. Right, right. See? Then me and you gonna get beat up. Then we gonna get suspended. Then we gonna get another whipping when we get home. Dang, you're right. But we gotta do some. Boys? There's some fruit punch and refreshments if you want a little something before we get started. Bingo. What you gonna do? Here. What's this? Some draws for your son? I know his big overgrown ass then. Nah. He said he got carried away trying to tuck his shirt tail in and ripped his draw. Keisha! Keisha! What you got a little sneaky link in here? Who is that calling your name? Boy, no. That's Junior. You remember him from high school? At least you should. Y'all played football together. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. My, my, my. Does wine get fine with time or what? You so silly, Junior. My man, Junior. Wait a minute. Ron, that's you. Boy, you was a running back in school. Now you look like an offensive lineman. Yup, I was running back back then. But now your hairline running back. You know I was a linebacker and I can still hit if you feeling froggy. Y'all cut it out. What you doing here anyway, Junior? My son. Junior Junior. He playing Romeo in the school play. Oh, that's big, Cal. My son playing Romeo. Well, let's just see about this. Bro, I can't believe you put Lexi on your Junior drink. Why you even have a boo-boo pill? Cause my, my Gigi had them, man. And I thought they was candy, man. And I ate one before. Uh, I was a chocolate volcano for like two days, bro. After that, something told me to keep them for a special occasion. They, they work fast, too. Mm-hmm. Hey, Junior, Junior. Let me holler at you, man. Look, I'm sorry for stepping on your toes earlier, bro. You, you paid the cost to be the boss. And, and I'm giving you my throne as the king of first graders. For real? You really mean that? Yeah! And, and to prove it, I want to propose a toast with this fruit punch. Because cause you got the juice now. Dang, that's real, bro. Junior, Junior, put that cup down. You know no eating or drinking right before a performance. You know your lines? Yes, sir, Daddy. 
And why is your costume so small? It was a spur of the moment role changes. What's going on, my boy? I thought you was Romeo. If there's some favoritism going on, shit finna really hit the fan. I don't, I don't know about it hitting the fan, but, but it might hit the flow. Give me this cup and get out there. I'ma just drink this so it don't go to waste. Oh, Romeo, where are thou, Romeo? Did not thy father and refuse thy name. Big Ron, you know where the bathroom at, man? Nah, man. You seen a trash can? Yeah, it's one right there. Over by the light switch. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! That was my fault. How am I supposed to know that was going to happen? We got paid for the ride, didn't we? What? What was that dude with the caught us, daddy? He, he would have put the whole car in his pocket. Well, you would have had to get out. Then he could have put the whole car in his pocket. Because cause you a big fella. So what you trying to say? I'm bigger than the car? All, all I know is, you be talking about getting money, but... But I know how you can get fifty thousand dollars real quick. Fifty mm -hmm. racks? Fifty bands? Not them fifty boys. Boy how? Well, all you gotta do is put a car sticker on your back, maybe a Tahoe or a Suburban, and and we gonna put a stickers price on your chest. You you can ride about ten people. You, you got a few dents on you, but, but we can get 50 racks real quick. Mm -hmm. Man, do you ever give me a break? You been roasting me ever since you started talking about what I gotta do. Yeah, if, if you start eating like a normal person and, and not a normal hippo. I can't catch a break for shit. Alright, daddy, my, my bad. Big dudes getting money. That right. Matter of fact. Daddy, you a beast. Yeah, there we go. Now you talking, son. You know what kind of beast you is, Daddy? What kind? A obese. A obese? What's that? Obese, as in obesity. Obesity. Man, you know what? Let's play the quiet game. We picking this food up anyway. We doing DoorDash today to answer your original question. And this the restaurant right here. We got a curbside pickup. We have an order for Big Ross. Man, what? Big Ross. I guess that's me. But why you saying my name like that? Huh, I'm sorry. It's just a lot of G's on Big. Two orders of chitlins, gizzards, and onions. <laughs> okay, now, Dad, don't, don't eat them folks' food before we get them. Even though they they got a bag full of boo-boo, that, that food smell like a hospital. Man, look at here. This one meal you ain't got to never worry about me eating. If your mama cook like this, I'll lose weight automatically. It got to be a sick, twisted individual that ordered this here. Alright, son, we here. It says for somebody named Revlag. That's a crazy-ass name. Apartment number 69, gone up. You know. Uh -uh. Wait. Come here. You hear that? We can be on demon time. I'll cast them out later. Sound like somebody getting a whipping or getting fussed at. That voice do sound kind of familiar, though. Hold on. What you doing with this spatula? Put that crisco down. Uh -uh. Don't run. I want you slippery. I'm going to be reaching while you preaching. <laughs> 
right now. Um, Bell, I got you a hundred dollar tie tip if uh if this can stay between us. You ain't shit. Adventure we on today? Oh, ain't no adventure, my guy. Seems like every time it's just me and you, something crazy happens. It's just a dark cloud of bullshit just be floating over us. And every single time, the lightning strike and rain on me. So, nope, no ideas, no adventures, and no Vaseline. Vaseline? What? What you got against Vaseline, Daddy? It's a long, long story, son. Don't even worry about it. All I want is for me, you, and your sister to have a nice outing. I sent your mama to get her nails and shit did and have a little spa day or whatever. Just to get y'all a little bad ass off her hands for a while. There you go, daddy. Happy wife, happy life. Yup, for sure that. Yeah. And I'ma wanna go hang out with the fellas. So I need ammo to use just so she can't fuss. Dang, daddy, you... You doing something just to see what you can get back. You, you an Indian giver. I'm going to put my foot in your ass, and that's going to be intense like the Indians. Intense like the Indians? What? Get it? Intense? Intense like the Indians? Ha, ha, ha. I cracked myself up. <laughs> boo. Boo. Get off the stage. Tomato, tomato, tomato. But, but keep cracking yourself up, Daddy. I'm, I'm gonna just pick up the pieces and sell it as real estate. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm finna censor your YouTube. Ain't no way in hell you six years old, bro. Now be quiet. We pulling up to the bank. Welcome to the Big Boss Bank. How can I help you? Uh, yes, ma'am. I want to withdraw five hundred from my checking account. Okay. Send your information through the tube and we'll have you squared away shortly. Hey, hey bank lady, my, my mama got her state taxes back yet? Man, daddy, my, my mama be showing love with the first check, but, but she be so stingy with her state tax. Boy, why you always in grown folks' business? Damn! But you ain't lying though, she do be stingy with that state tax. Alright, Mr. Ron, here is your money and your ID. Thank you for banking with us. For sure. So, you you gonna give me my 10%? Give you 10%? For what? Boy, you so money hungry. I put food on the table, clothes on your little skinny back. Your little stegosaurus head ass don't pay no bills. Don't want for nothing but ask for everything. If, if you don't give me my 10%, I'm, I'm gonna just tell my mama you was looking at her friend Boot at the mall. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Mm-hmm. And, and you know it was big, too. Because cause I was looking. Man, I wasn't even looking at her friend Boot. And if I was, how you gonna prove that? I, I took a picture of you. Look. Receipts, daddy. Receipts. Gotta keep them. Here, man. $20. That's all I got. That's the best I can do. Welcome to Thick Burger, where we hope you like them thick. Ooh, we, 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 we do. do. Give up one sec. Okay, take your time, boo. Damn, she, she sounds so fine. Oh my god. Hi, look. I'm straight. I got no drip on. Is, is you straight? I'm single as a Pringle and, and ready to mingle. Daddy, you, you too, so you can't do nothing but look, buddy. Man, I can talk. It ain't nothing but a harmless conversation. What, little boy? What you FaceTiming me for? What y'all doing? Oh, we, we getting something to eat, Mama. And, and my daddy said he's gonna let me order the food this time. Right, Daddy? Right, son. Go ahead. Get what you want. Hey, Miss Drive Through Lady, what, what's your name is? What's your, what's your name is? Joanna. Ooh, Joanna. That, that's a pretty name. 
Just want to get to know me. Boo, boo, tomato, tomato. Y'all, y'all still got the chicken too? Yes, sir. Well, let me get a two-piece and and I want two thick thighs because cause thick thighs say lies. Boy, bye. Oh, my goodness. I, I know she ain't just hang up on me like this. And, and let me get my daddy a salad and a bottle of water because cause he greasy enough. All right, Debbie, 1849, please drive around. Ooh, daddy, I, I can't wait to see her. I know she fine. That'll be 1849, please. Is that your little handsome self playing with me? Oh, no. That that was her. Your food is coming up. See how you were acting, boy? God don't like ugly. I, I can tell. Man, I, I know my mama having fun in that Chocolate City. Chocolate City? What the hell you mean, Chocolate City? Cuz, that, that's the name of the spa thing my mama and her friends be going to. They... They always talking about that. And and I think it's a man that, that be doing their massages too. My my mom was like, girl, that man got a windshield wiper. A windshield wiper? Yeah. And and then she was like, mm mm mm. Wax on, wax off, Mr. Miyagi. Hold on, wax. Yeah, and and she said she still be thinking about that windshield wiper. And and it's three days later. What about the food? Uh-huh. Here we go. Wait right here, y'all. Wait right here? I'm, I'm six years old, Daddy, and, and she a baby. You finna go back to jail, buddy. Oh, if I see a windshield wipe, I'm definitely going to jail. Oh, yeah. That's my spot. Where you come from? Why is you doing me like this? Uh huh! You next! You next! You ain't shit. Keys. What's wrong, baby? I don't know. I just been feeling weak all day. My head is spinning. I'm having chills. I just don't know what it could be. Coronavirus! Be quiet, boy. I ain't got no damn Rona. Matter of fact, you can't spell Rona without the R, the O, and the N. So you know what that means. You make me sick. Mama, that was hard. I ain't even much gonna lie. All right, boy, leave your mama alone now. Keep you want some super song? Want a ginger ale? Whatever you want, you know, I got you, baby. Aww. Thank you, big daddy. I just want to rest. I took some medicine. I'ma just let it knock me out. We got an Airbnb guest tonight, too. I ain't even look on the site to see his name or nothing. But it's almost time for him to check in. Y'all think y'all can handle it? Baby, we got you. Get your rest. Run, run, come on, let's go in the living room and play the game, man. Let's get on this mad, so I can 21 rule you. Dad, I'm finna whoop yo. Go on here, see it, so I can send you to the ER. Oh, ER? That, that must stand for eating room. Send me. I know you gonna be in there too, if it's the eating room. Man, how you do that right now? If I tell you that, then you gonna do it. That's the point. The point is to win. You better get on YouTube and learn how to play, little ugly dude. Man, you low down. Man, you, you big wide. Welcome to the Bush Family Airbnb. We hope to make y'all stay with us a great one. You, you can come on in, Mr. Man. Don't just stand out there. What's your name? Rod. Ooh, for real? Well, my name Run Run, and my daddy name Fat Run. So it's three runs. You just gotta forgive that boy, he's special. And I don't mean that in a good way. Well, thank you. 
You can point me to the room now. All right, man. Um, if you get hungry, just don't eat the fruit snacks. Them for my daughter. But you're welcome to get anything else. No, uh -uh. not my cheese sticks. You better not touch my cheese sticks. Or the B and B and Airbnb gonna stand for black and blue. Cause that's what you gonna be when I'm through with you. No cheese sticks. Got it. Okay, guys. Night, night. Gotta go. Man, he mean as hell. But as long as he pay, he can be as mean as he want to be. Run. Run. I know you in there because I GPS your phone. Run. Um, excuse you. Have you lost your damn mind? Why the hell is you tapping on my window? And who are you? Girl, this is my house. Who the hell is you? It's running now? Yeah, he here. Who wants to know? His baby mama. I found out I'm pregnant today. And he up in there laid up with you in that bunny. Oh, I ain't even sick no more. Run! Get your fat ass in here. What the hell? I thought you were sick. I'm sick of your ass. Who is this helpful? What helpful? Talking about outside? I don't know that hoochie. Wait, that ain't run. Look, man, you gotta help me. My baby mama went through my phone. I've been running from her for three days now. That's why I'm here. Do something. All right, I got you. Hold up. Hey, Miss Crazy Lady. Yo, run running out the front door. Oh, shit. You better go get him. God damn. You ain't shit. What y'all? My, my mama bought me this metal detector thing. Ooh. She she said I be in her business too much and need to find something to do. Mm -hmm. I I been looking around the yard all morning and and I found a hood cap, Ooh. a nickel, oh. a hair fork, and and a gold tooth. Oh. I I think this belongs to Reverend Lemon Hola Dollar. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, y'all. It, it ain't never went this crazy. I, I think I struck gold. Ooh, look, y'all. I, I think this real gold. This thing kind of heavy. I'm, I'm gonna tell my mama so she can take me to the pawn shop. Cash for gold, baby. I wonder what this button in the middle do. Run, my sister-in-law, baby cousin, Tracy, said she seen you all in the movies hugged up with some tramp. Now tell me who she was. Your sister-in-law, baby cousin, Tracy, is a damn lie. I wasn't at no movies last night. Now you know we got a game tomorrow. I was at the crib watching film. Well, why you ain't answer the phone when I call? My mom and daddy look so young. I, I must be back in time. This thing I found must be a traveling device. Oh, I'm finna sell this to Elon Musk on. Or whatever his name is. Man, my mama was on the phone. You know how old folks be. They don't be clicking over. Why you don't be believing me? You it like I got a track record of lying or something. Cause you do. What about Jamaica? That was a rumor. What about Tasha? That girl stink. Come on now. Okay. What about Santa Quanisha Manisha? I caught her in the car with you. Man, that girl will teach me how to spell her name. Mm-hmm. Spell it now then. The tramp got three names, so you cheated three times. Man, here you go. C E um, N T I P E D E. Did you just spell centipede? Boy, get out of my face. Keish. Bye. Keish. I said bye. Uh, little boy, who is you? 
And where's your mother? Oh, wow. That's crazy. So you really don't know? Know what, little boy? Know who I am? Um, no. So, so you can't whoop me, can it? <laughs> Say what? No, I can't whoop you. I'm definitely not going to jail whooping somebody else's child. Oh, shit. Huh? Damn. Damn what, little boy? Why is you cursing? Don't worry about it, mama. Mama? Listen, that dude that just left, don't break up with him. I know he gaining a few pounds and all, but it's going to get worse before it get better. Trust me. And, and I know sometimes he be lying, but that dude, he really, really love you. And, and he really got a good heart. He, he just kind of slow. And if y'all break up, then I can't be born. You can't be born. I don't understand. Just, just trust me. Plus, the future need to hurry up so, so you can get these dookie braids out your head. Them, them things so weak, mama. Whoop the gold bird head run. Oh, I'm finna tear your butt up. Gotta go. Sorry. GG, I, I have never felt this way about a woman before. The way you make me feel is beyond the mountaintops and atmospheric boundaries known to man. You beautiful, beautiful black woman. Oh, Marty, you always just know what to say. It's just sometimes I don't feel as if I even deserve how good you are to me, Marty. Gloria, why on earth would you even say such a thing? Hmm. Well, if I must be honest, Marty, there's someone else. Oh, no, Gigi. Please don't tell me that. It's damn Al Sharpton, ain't it? Or is it Jesse Jackson? Don't nobody want no Al Sharpton, boy. His name is Otis, and he's so smart and loving, as sweet as you are to me. And I must be truthful and tell you that he has my heart. I think I need to step out and get some fresh air. Marty, wait. Hey, little ugly dude. Pick your head up. The world gonna need you real soon. You, you don't even understand what you gonna do for our people. You see that lady in there? She gotta make me cheese sticks in the future, and, and if you keep doing all that begging, something might go wrong. Something go wrong like what? Listen. Don't worry about it. Just go tell Gigi good night. And, and when you leave here, call Coretta. Who the f is Coretta? Gotta go. Little boy, little boy. Where, oh where, did you go? Marty, who is you talking to? I think I had a dream. Hey, man. You need to put some clothes on. Why you look so sad? Man, I can't seem to find Eve. Oh, she, she been stopped rapping. My mama like all her old music. What? What is rapping? Man, I keep forgetting I'm back in time. My bad. Come on, I'ma help you find Eve. Uh-uh, bad little ugly snake. Ooh. These apples look real good. Here, Eve, try one. Eve! Adam! Uh-oh, I forgot. Daddy, you, you ain't bring none of that mosquito spray? I, I need some off. These mosquitoes ain't playing out here. They, they must work for Red Cross. We. We gonna lose all our plasma. Damn, I sure forgot to get some. And we miles away from a while world. We just gonna have to tough them out, fella. Tough it out. Tough it out? Our skin gonna be tough and out. You, you ain't finna have me looking like no dinosaur out here. It's, it's rough out here, buddy. Well, walk to the store then. Back in the day, Dad and your Uncle Rob used to always come out here when we were kids. Talking about you want some off. 
hell, we must have had some on. These mosquitoes ain't nothing. Back then, they were so big, they used to look like baby helicopters. Had the other bugs skydiving off each other like they in the military. You don't want to get bit by one of them, you'll have a big knot on your head. Man, ain't no way, Mr. Ram. Alright, bet. Y'all kids these days soft. Y'all can't even be outside for one night without being scared. That's why ain't none of y'all got no girls. Who ain't got, got girls? Oh, I got girls, little, little ugly dude. Yeah, right. Run, run, what's your girlfriend name? Huh? Her name Jasmine. Mm-hmm. She pretty, y'all. She alright. She straight. What about you, Nick? What's your girl name? Can't see. Can't see? Yeah. Can't see chick. She must be Asian or something. Now, Daddy, that's what's happening if you're looking for a Nick girlfriend. You can't see chick. Boy, cuss again. I'm gonna thump you so hard your friends gonna feel it. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I said chick, Daddy. Chick. Like, like the abbreviation for chitlin'. Boy, you a lie. Ain't chick for you to tell. With the marshmallow bussin' bussin' though, on everything. I'ma tell y'all a little bedtime story before we hit these sleeping bags. Y'all ever heard of Booger Bear? Booger Bear, what's that? The legend is, about 150 years ago, it was a man named Scotty that used to live in these woods with his wife and his son. People used to say they ain't like to be around Scotty. Why? Why not, Daddy? Because he had real bad sinuses. They used to call him Snotty Scotty. They said his wife came out to look at the stars one night, and a big ferocious bear ate her alive. Scotty was sad, and he wanted revenge. He told his son to stay home while he tracked the bear down. While he went searching for the bear, the bear circled back around the house and ate his son. When he got back, the bear was eating the last part of his son's shoe. Oh my he had on a pair of Converse, too. No, Daddy. On everything. Then when the man saw the bear eat his son, Scotty went crazy. He dropped his gun, and he tried to run heads up with the bear. Scotty lost. The bear made a quick snack out of him. But Snotty Scotty didn't go quiet. They say Scotty Ghost still lives in the bear. Huh? 150 years later. They say if he catch you, he slain boogers on you. Just to season you up. Then eat you alive. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! They say the bear only come out on full moon nights like tonight. But you gotta look at the moon and say his name three times though. Man, daddy, that, that junk ain't real. Alright, do it then. Don't punk out now, run run. Man, y'all, he ain't gonna do it. I'll be right back though. I gotta take a leap. Man, I'm I'm a G. Watch this. Say it. Mm. Booger Wolf. B Booger Wolf. Boy, all y'all need to check y'all draw. I bet y'all got a streak of chocolate lightning in them things. Man, Daddy, you you play too much. And where you find a 100 extra large suit from? You you must got that custom made, buddy. Boy. Oh hell. The marshmallows getting to me now, y'all. I gotta go for real. Ooh, where you get that ring ring? This, this my daddy drone. He, he bought this to spy on my mama. Mm-hmm. Cause he was talking to his friend one day, and, and he trying to make sure my mama ain't talking to nobody named Jody. Who is Jody? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to find out too. But, but my daddy keep listening to that song. He, 
He be like, somebody sleeping in my bed, messing with my head. But I don't get it. Who's sleeping in the bed? Jody, I guess. My my daddy don't know I got his drone, y'all. So so we gotta hurry up. Ricky, I wanna fly to your house and and see if your mama got that bunny on. Yo, your mama don't never take that thing off. She, she must have her money, you know. I know you ain't talking. Your mama got to put a flea color on when she wear that wig. Yo, your mama had that bunny on so long. She got a bathtub ring around her forehead. Boy, your mama wig start barking one time when I rung the doorbell. Man, yo, yo, mama. Hey, man. Y'all chill out. I want to see what this drone can do. Uh, where run? Why says the battery gone dead? Oh yeah, I I was playing with it before y'all came outside. It it probably can go to the end of the street and come back. You gonna fly it down there? Yeah, it it got enough battery charge to fly down there and come back. It it ain't like we gotta walk down there. This. This is gonna be real quick. Watch. You can see who's in the house? Hold on, let me see. Man, what was that? Man, I don't know. Get closer. Ain't nothing happening. Oh. My. Moses. Ooh, you in trouble. Uh-uh. My, my dad ain't finna lose 10 pounds tearing my ass up. We in trouble. We? Amen. I told you the battery was gonna die. But no, you wanna do it anyway. It should make it there and back. Well, what I'ma do? I, I gotta come up with a plan, y'all. Y'all boys know who that is? No. No. Who is it? They they don't never come outside. They don't even get their Amazon Prime. They they must be quarantining. Quarantining? Yeah, for for COVID-19, little ugly dude. That's Miss Ethel House. Miss Ethel? Been there since I was a boy. Nobody is ever. The legend is, she cooks chillin' and then throws the bones out in the backyard after she eats all the meat off of them. Sometimes, you can hear the screams. Oh no! I know you lying. Uh, run run. I think I hear my mama calling me. Yeah, um, me too, Ron Ron. I forgot I had to, um, walk my fish. Huh? How, how you gonna walk a fish, little ugly dude? It's, uh, um, fish with legs. Uh, uh, a leg fish. Talking about it like that lady on TV, Wendy Williams. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Bye-bye! Hey, man, you got a dollar, man? Help a brother out. I got cash up. I ain't, I ain't got no cash money. Oh, I got cash up. You ain't shit. Man, if I don't get this drone back, my, my daddy gonna kick me out. I'm gonna have to live with Gigi. I'm gonna go to school smelling like mouth balls, cough drops, and and pee every day. Gigi gonna make me eat all my vegetables, and and I'm gonna have to watch the young and the messy with her. I gotta get this drone back, man. I'm I'm gonna just go knock on the door and ask nicely. <laughs> man, where I'm at? Little boy, what you doing on my porch? And why are you peeping in my window? I I was just trying to see the kids. What damn kids? 
the stanky man said you be in here cooking chillings. And, and I was trying to see that my daddy drone had went over your fence. A drone? What's a drone? Is it's something I gotta get back if I don't wanna go live with my Gigi. Cause, cause her house smell like mothballs and, and she gonna make me eat all my vegetables. But, but your house smell like my daddy's house after Taco Tuesday. What is that smell? I got some chitlins on the stove in now. I eat them every day. Chitlins and neck bones. So, so you wasn't eating children? You was eating chitlins? Man, I sent that boy on $2 on cash up for no reason. What about the screams? We was hearing them way from my side. Boy, that ain't no scream. That's my great grandma's tea kettle. It's been in my family for over 100 years. Well, who bones you was throwing out the door? Child? <laughs> that was the bones from turkey necks. I just be throwing them to my dog Rufus. He old and lazy. So this whole time, you was just eating pig booty and neck bones and, and trying to feed your dog. And everybody think you crazy. But it's just one thing I don't understand, Miss Elka. What's that, child? When, when I was peeking through your window, I, I saw a wolf or something. What that was? Because cause I know it wasn't Rufus. Well, child, back in the day, it was a semi-pro kickball team called Where the Hoochie Werewolf. And I tried out to be a cheerleader. They said I couldn't be a cheerleader. So they let me be the mascot. And I still got my suit till today. Now, now, Miss Ethel, you can't be no cheerleader. Why not? Because you built like a traffic cone. Yo, Peppy! Man, Miss, Miss Ethel, can I get my drone back? I really need to get that back. On the one condition. Anything. You gotta try my chitlins. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, no! You can keep the drone. You ain't shit. Daddy, my, my mama said get your fat rump up and help pick the groceries up. Because cause, you're going to eat the majority of them anyway. Man, don't come in here trying to jank. Old f right Bill Pepperhead dude. Hold on a minute. I'm watching this special on Discovery Channel by Elephant. Man, it's some crazy shit. You need to sit down and watch it. Learn something instead of being on that YouTube and TikTok mess. Ooh, Daddy, I, I know you ain't talking cause, cause when I had your phone and I went on your IG, huh? I seen what you was watching. You was watching Twerk City in the ghetto. Them, them girls ain't big old booties too. Shut up, boy, for your mama hear you. Give me a dollar. Say what? Give me a dollar. Ooh, daddy, man. Let me see your phone so I can see that. Here, man, here. <laughs> man, this some bull. You just can't win in America, can it? Now we got young black males trying to blackmail black males. I'll be in there in a minute. She gonna be mad, daddy. Cause, cause she already mad at the lady at the store. Cause, cause she wouldn't let her use all her coupons. The hell she using coupons on? She bought some candles. Cause you know when she get mad at you, all she do is light a candle and listen to that Janae Aiko lady real, real loud and clean up the house even if it ain't dirty. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'm the man of the house. I come in there when I get good and got doggone ready. Now run and tell that. Where is your daddy? He in there watching his cousins from Africa on TV spray water out they nose. It, it look like a water hose too. Must be a damn elephant. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and him said that he the man of the house. And, and he gonna come in here when he get good and got doggone ready. That boy finna lie, baby. Boy, I done told you about them tall tales. We got this baby. Go on in there and get off your feet. I told that boy to tell my queen I'll be right there. Mm-hmm. Man, it's too many doggone cheese sticks. We ain't even got the freezer space for all this. On Moses, this too much. 
Oh no, it ain't. Oh Malachi. Oh Mary, Joseph, and little Bo Peep Mama. Damn, you got me. But for real, man, why you got all this? Cause baby, they they doing a little sweet steaks thing. But instead, it's called cheese steaks. All you gotta do is scan the code with your phone on the box. And and if you got the right code, then you win five thousand dollars, daddy. Five thousand? I know you lying. And what you gonna do with five thousand dollars, man? Mm hmm. Probably buy some more cheese sticks. You crazy. I I know what I ain't gonna do is go throw it in the booty club and, and record myself so everybody can see me get a whipping on Father's Day. Mm-hmm. Boy, be quiet. Sick of you. Let me scan one real quick, Dad. I won! I won, Daddy! Yeah! Uh-uh. Let me see. I bet you don't get no money. Congratulations! You are the winner of the Sauce Dripper Cheese Steaks. Here's your check for $5,000! Oh yeah, oh yeah, new J's, new ice, new J's. Oh no, no, no! Forget the J's! You need lipo, daddy. This, this my money anyway. You said it was fake. Stop trying to take my baby money, fat boy. Alrighty, little fella. We have your payment letter right here. All you have to do is sign the back page and tell us how you want to be paid. Oh, my dad ought to be able to do that quick, cause, cause he already be on back page and Tinder all the time. Mm-hmm. You ain't shit. Listen, Tevin, why somebody specifically put you at the scene of the crime? Inside the home, when everybody else in the backyard eating fruit snacks and, and in the jumping house. Talk to me, my guy. Ah, 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 is that I see that you over there telling the whole story. You, you can't lie to me, Tevin. I can't take this no more. I'm finished now. Oh. Officer Jamal, you, you can't snap. You remember what happened last time? Ooh, sir, Officer Jamal. Ooh, sir. You, you want to know what happened the last time? Oh, no, you don't, buddy. Now, let's start from the beginning. I, I ain't got all day. I'm, I'm trying to play the game, little ugly dude. Detective Little Rod Rod has been a part of the department since it was formed, which was two weeks ago. Rod Rod and his team, Detective Nick and Detective Jamal, are investigating the passing of Ralph, who was the pet goldfish of their classmate, Timmy. We, we headed over to the scene now. It's a shame. A little old fish can't even swim in his own bowl without somebody hating. Yeah, we got Tevin in custody, but something telling me that there's more to the story. Detective Nick, what you got on the report? The owner of the fish is a Tim and the Whiskey, seven year old, blonde hair, blue eyes, about three foot six. Tim was having the birthday party, and he says everybody was having a good time in the backyard. Timmy then said while the grandma was fixing everybody's plates, he went inside to grab his jersey that he got for his birthday. He said everybody was used to him wearing Skechers. Are they Team Jordans or Retro? Look like they some their jeelers. So yeah, they Team Jordans. Hmm, interesting. Please continue. Tim said we was about to go to his room upstairs. He passed by his goldfish bowl. And he noticed Ralph floating in his bowl upside down. Tim began to cry and the party was pretty much canceled after that. All right, fellas, we we need to see if there's any footprints on the carpet. Cause, cause Timmy mama ain't like my mama. It it won't be no footprints in here cause, cause she don't play that running in and out. So Timmy, talk to me, buddy. 
Who do you think would want to hurt Ralph? Wait, wait, wait. Before you answer that, let me ask you this. Why? Why you didn't invite us to your birthday party, little, little ugly dude? I couldn't, but I really wanted to. Why? Why you couldn't, Mom? My mom would have told my dad to get his fat ass up and take me. And, and her would have got you a good gift too, cuz cause she ain't finna have folks out here thinking we down bad. Down bad? Yeah. Don't, don't worry about it, Timmy. Just, just tell me why we couldn't come. I would have got in trouble if you were here. In trouble? Why? I, I know your mama don't think I'm a bad influencer. My, my IG got clean content. Not in trouble with my mom. It was Junior Junior. Junior Junior? Yeah, he wanted to give me the wedgie of the century if I invited you guys. He told me I was going to have to get surgery to get it out. A permanent thong. A permanent thong? Oh my goodness. I, I think I'm going to solve your case already. And Timmy, why, why are so many crumbs on this carpet? My, my mama would have been made me vacuum up my mess, cause, cause ain't nobody had it but you. Now, now where's she at? She's in the bathroom plunging the toilet. One of the kids took a dookie and stopped it up. I, I was gonna say hey, but never mind. Well, where Junior Junior at? He's still in the backyard. His dad hasn't picked him up yet. Well, well, well. If it isn't Junior Junior. So, so you just can't leave the bullying at school? You, you gotta bring it to the birthday party and do this to a fish? What are you talking about, twerp? I didn't kill Timmy's stupid fish. I didn't even know he had a fish. Yes, yes you did, cause you was the one that told him not to invite us. Right, fellas? Oh, uh, I forgot to dust the area for fingerprints. The tip, the run run, I'll be right back. Yeah, and, um, I got to dust the area for fingerprints. Wait, what? Where y'all going? <sighs> Looks like it's just me and you, twerp. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Boy, I feel like a sumo wrestler. Please put me down, Junior Junior. You can scratch these drawers so far. My, my dad can feel them. When you push my nerves to the edge, you gotta feel the wedge. I'll give you a dollar. I don't want no dollar. Well, what you want? I, I got a thousand dollar worth of coins on 2K. They all yours. Wait a minute. How how come all the food almost gone except for the tater salad? It, it only looked like one spoonful came out of there. Cause didn't nobody want that nasty behind tater salad? Timmy mama put raisins in it. Raisins, raisins. That's it! Junior Junior, you a genius, man. The smartest man on earth. You need to join our detective team. Oh, stop complimenting me. Let me put you down cause you acting like you finna call me boo. Jamal, Nick, yo. Y'all in here playing the game, and Junior Junior done made me some new drawers. My, my daddy can fit these things. Oh, we thought y'all were playing. Yo, yo microwavable Tupperware head rump ain't gonna think I'm playing when, when I put you in the choco. <laughs> Timmy, you, you still ain't got this food off the couch, huh? Boy, all it'll take is two days with a black mama. Timmy! What? Who, who made the Rotel dip? Jasmine's mom. Who made the cocktail weenies? Devontae's mom. And, and who made the tater salad? Oh, that was my mom. Why? Why the tater salad is still on your plate, Timmy? Uh-oh. You ate the rotel. You ate the weenies. But, but you left the doggone tater salad right here on the plate. And, and the raisins gone. Timmy. You fed Ralph the raisins, so Tevin wasn't lying. When when he came in while everybody was still outside, he he had to boo boo. That's why the toilet stopped up. Okay, okay, you got me. My mom's potato salad tastes like a sand castle. <sighs> I thought if I took the raisins out, I could eat it and make her feel better.
I used to have a dog, and when she cooked, I would give it to him. But I fed him some of her food one time, and he ran away. We could have just had hot pockets. Man, we left Tiffy at the headquarters, didn't we? That's correct, Jamal. Let's get back. Mama, let me out before the street light come on. You try to make me get a weapon. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Run, run. Sir? Boy, you seen my phone? I took a nap on the couch and I ain't seen it since. How long I been asleep? About, about three minute hours. Huh? Minute hours? Somebody. Man, never mind. I need my phone, man. I got a boo-boo. It ain't gonna be no good ball movement if I can't scroll through social media with it. Well, what you telling me for, daddy? I... Oh, man. I know where your phone at now, Daddy. Well. I I don't want to tell you, cuz, because you're going to be mad. Boy, you better start talking before you get a whipping. Oh, shit! Oh, man, shit. I, I feel like I'm going to get one of them anyway, Daddy. Boy, I'm getting real heated right now. You better say something. If you don't, I'm going to lock you in the bathroom while I take these browns to the Super Bowl. I I daddy. You you be going too far, man. That's child abuse. Man, me, me and Jamal, we had wanted to take some peeks for his IG. And your phone got the good camera with the three things. My my camera got two things. Cause cause you ain't let me get the upgrade last time. I must have left it at his house. Boy after I dropped the brownies off. I'm gonna beat the 5G out your ass. Hold on. Oh. 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 God damn. Daddy, you, you bad? You damn right I'm mad. Don't come over here trying to butter me up now. You getting these hands when I get through. Man, Daddy, don't, don't pick up boo boo fingers on me. Up in there smelling like a VIP section for elephants. <laughs> Oh, I got your elephant. You need to be figuring out how I'm gonna get my phone, boy. Well, my my mama just said she on her way home. I I can text her and tell her to stop by and get it. All right, bet. Wait, boy, no. Do not. I repeat, do not call your mama. Look, Jamal live right around the corner, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Call him and tell him to meet you at the end of the block. You should be back by the time I finish wiping. And before your mama get home. Man, daddy, it's, it's dark outside. Boy, you owe me one. Man. Hey. Hey, kid. Hey. Little boy. What? What you want? Little ugly dude? My name is Pennywise. What's yours? Hey, Penny Loafer. My, my mama told me I can't be out here talking to strangers, man. It's Pennywise. I ain't Penny Hardaway. I'm about to come out there. I hope you do. Little weird dude, you, you in the sewer. My daddy finna send you a present too. In about two minutes. Just... Ray, Ray, who's this dude? Oh. This penny proud, Jamal. Boy, you need a dentist. Oh, saber tooth mouth little dude. With, with them weak old shoes on. Boy, those look like bloody torpedoes. With them William Shakespeare pants on. That boy got his feet from Lil' Dabby. That boy supposed to be on the box of zebra cake. Oh, since you want to come out here with a clown, and be a clown, I'm a clown on your ass. Get in this car. You ain't shit. Come on, y'all. We supposed to been on the road 45 minutes ago. Hold on. I can't figure what I did with my good weed. Damn. When you get a good one?
Yo mama got it for me when she got hers. Keisha, you already getting off on the wrong foot. Don't get down here beefing with mama again. Well, she better leave me alone here. Your mama be talking crazy, boy. Last time she gonna ask me, am I feeding you? Well, damn, if I ain't, somebody is. Girl, whatever. Run, run, what you doing back there, boy? Coming, daddy. Where's it? Where's it? Bingo. Found it. Guess, guess what, y'all? My, my mama had went to the house, though, because her head needed some edge control and, and some glue for her lace front. And the Ching Chong lady had some grills and some bling bling rings. They, they was $10. I had $8. But, but then I told my mama if she give me $2, I, I'd tell my daddy for a whole week. Mm-hmm. She, she gave me them $2 so fast, y'all. So now I got six across the bottom. Cousin Robbie gonna be hating, cause, cause him got some silver teeth. Boy, I said, come on, stop dragging your ass. Okay, Daddy, if if I stop dragging mine, you gonna stop dragging yours, <laughs> or or you just can't help it. You ain't shit. Daddy, turn the radio on. No, boy. I know you see your sister back there asleep. She, she can sleep through it. She be sleeping through my mama screaming and, and you huffing and puffing. Boy, what in the world is you talking about? I don't, I don't know what y'all be doing. I, I thought y'all be playing the zoo game. The zoo, zoo game. game? Yeah. Mama, you, you must have been a chimpanzee. Cause you was like, eat, eat, eat. I, I thought you was Jaquiz, mama. And daddy, you, you were sounding like a bear with asthma. <sighs> <sighs> then, then I be hearing y'all wrestling too. Mama, you, you be like, you heavy run, damn. And, and then he let you win. Cause him say, well, you get on top then and take that bunny off. I told you we need to change them insulations in them walls. I think we need some gas, y'all. Run, run, get out so you can come in here and pee. Cause you'll let us leave here and 10 minutes later you'll be talking about you need to use the bathroom. I promise I ain't stopping again. You just gonna have to piss in your pants, my boy. Well, you, you gonna have to keep pushing the whip after I pee. Daddy, so, so you gonna be push a pee? Push a pee. Push a pee. Yeah! Come here, boy, and don't touch nothing. We getting gas and we getting out of here. I don't, I don't want nothing out this weak old store, Daddy. Ooh, Daddy, buy me these. Boy, put them down. You don't know what them is. Yes, yes I do, Daddy. Them magnums. They, they must be bullets for my gun on Call of Duty. You, you ever played Call of Duty? I've been using that Magnum gun. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's what they is. But them the wrong ones for your game, man. Them, uh, them bullets too big. You, you don't use Magnum, daddy. You, you must got a little gun. Big Ron, is that you? Nah, I know damn well that ain't. Come over here and give your big belly a hug, boy. Man, I ain't giving you no doggone hug. Last time I tried to hug you, you put me in the full Nelson. You still saw about that, little bro? All you had to do was tap out. How the hell I was supposed to tap out? And you got me out here standing like a scarecrow. You got to stop being so soft, little bro. Still ain't got no silver teeth, huh, Ron Ron? I got three more. Every time I go to the dens, I get some more cavities. Whoa! Where, where'd you get that from? Fallis Beauty Land, a lace fronts and quick weaves. Know you probably heard of me. Gotta bag and fix my teeth. So, little bro, 
You gassing up and I'm gassing up. What you thinking about racing to the family union? We almost there anyway. Man, I ain't finna race you. I got my family in the car. I got my family in the car. What you scared? My lady and my kid down for the challenge. But that's just how we get down. We competitive. That's why my house bigger, my whip harder, my pockets fatter. Your rump is too. What you say, run run? Big run. Tame your child. Tame? Oh, see, now it's on, now, punk. I'll see you at the starting line. Run, I know damn well you ain't finna try to race your brother with these churn in the car. Keisha, you don't understand. Big Robert been challenging me since picking on me since we were kids. At some point, it gotta stop. Today is the day I stand up for myself. I gotta get this weight off my shoulders. The, the weight in more places than your shoulders, daddy. You ready, chump? On your mark, get set, go. Ha ha, what you gonna do, man? You can't see me. Yes, I'm finally gonna beat that fat head joker at something. Woohoo! <laughs> Hello? Yay! Dang, boy, you ain't been home in that long. You forgot where the speed trap was at. Ha ha, rookie. See you at the reunion, chump. Hey there, mama. Ron, why are you late? Mama, I was almost here. Then Robert... Then Robert told me he saw you out there pulled over like the police. Now, if you would have left on time, you could have been here on time. Your father was never late for anything. Oh, and there's my baby. Hey, Ron Ron. Hey, Nana. Come here and give your Nana a hug. Uh-uh. You smell like mobiles. Huh? What you say, baby? Uh, I... I said I'd like to hit golf balls. Oh, ain't that sweet? We got ourselves a little Tiger Woods. Oh, is that Clover? Um, Roberta. Her name is Chloe. Oh, okay. I'm still getting used to these foreign names y'all giving these babies. Foreign? How is Chloe foreign? From the land of Getopia. And I see you still got that Beyonce weed. And you still got that Aretha LaBelle. Aretha LaBelle? Who is that? Cuz, I don't know if you trying to be Aretha Franklin or Patty LaBelle. Wrong. You sure know how to pick them. You know the family tug of war competition finna start in a minute, don't you? You know my family done won it five years in a row, don't you? Y'all didn't even sign up last time. Don't punk out this time. What you gonna do, Daddy? Man, I ain't falling for no more of my brother foolishness, son. Stroking his ego every time he beat me at something, I'm winning anyway. My little family at home, the best family in the world. Aww. That's what's up. Come down here and give me a hug. <coughs> Snap out of it, little ugly dude. Every, every time I be sad, you be telling me to man up. Now, now it's your turn. We gonna get in this tug of war competition, and we gonna win it. But son, he's stronger than me. Daddy, you, you gotta dig deep inside yourself. I know that's a lot of digging, cause, cause you got a lot of yourself to go through. But, but somewhere behind all them hot and spices and double cheeseburgers, it's, it's a warrior. You just gotta let him out. Him, him probably in the suffocating anyway. You right, son. Let's do it. It's time to get this over with. Daddy! Daddy! What, boy? They say the winners get red velvet cake. Say what? You lying. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, them... Them silver teeth look rusty now, don't it? See, Dad? I told you, you could do it. On everything you did, you sure said it. Now let's go get some of this cake. Boy, that red velvet cake been gone.
They ate that before they ate the ribs. God damn! You ain't shit. Boy, I know damn well you see me over here vacuuming. I'm finna pick this vacuum up and play t-ball on your head. Dang, ma. My bad. It's just a cheese puff. It's just a cheese puff? No, it's one more reason for your grandma to criticize me. That's all she do is criticize, criticize, criticize. Your Uncle Rob's supposed to be bringing her down here, too. Man, I... I know Grand Grand ain't trying to be funny. One time when we had went over there, I I had seen a big old roach. Like one of them water bug things. It it looked like a teenage mutant ninja roach. God damn! Ooh, you lying. On everything I love. I wish you could have got a picture or something. I I wish I did too. Cause, cause that roach smiled at me and everything, mama. It smiled at you. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, mama. The roach smiled. He he even had a grill. That that roach must have been kin to treat daddy. Boy, you so damn. Oh, that's them. Spray the air freshener. She says she like lavender scent. Hey, y'all. Woo, Lord. What was y'all in here doing? It take that long to answer the door? Hey, Mama B, I'm sorry. We were just up in here tittying up a little bit before y'all came in. Mm, in my day, we stayed ready, so we ain't have to get ready. And what's that smell in here? Oh, Mama B, that's that lavender air freshener. I got it because I remember you said that was your favorite scent. It used to be my favorite scent until the doctor told me I was allergic. Smell like a pair of Prince drawers in here. Big Ron, is that you? I, I think he in that boo boo. He got nervous cause he know Big Brother in the house. He got the bubble guts cause he got a face the alpha wolf. That boy don't know what he talking about. I wasn't back there boo boo. I was back there praying. Praying for what? Asking the Lord to give me the strength not to slap the black off your ass. Hey, hey, all right now. He started it, Mama, but I'm sorry. Mama, how you doing? I was good till I came up in here and smelt the soundtrack of Purple Rain. Ooh, sir. Well, y'all, I got some ribs on the grill. Mama, I know how you love my ribs. Yeah. Nick, bro, you can't cook no ribs. I better go out here with you and make sure you're doing it right. Grand Grand and Uncle Rob on some bull butter. Bringing all this hateration and holleration in. I gotta teach them a lesson. Alright, I'm finna put that sauce on these things now. Nah, so it can send me in the meat. Man, you put it on after the meat cool. That way the flavor ain't overpowering your taste buds. Daddy, Uncle Rob, right. I had seen it on TV. On the Food Channel one night. But... But you had fell asleep watching it, fantasizing and stuff. Come on, Uncle Rob. Put some sauce on your ribs for you and Grand Grand. And I'm going to take her plate to her. Damn, who side you on? Thank you, nephew. At least somebody got some sense. Here you go, Grand Grand. Thank you, baby. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, you must don't know how long I've been waiting on this moment. You looking so good over there. You making my sweet tooth tingle. I feel kind of bad though, because when I'm with my girl, I be thinking about you. Even when I'm with my kids, I'm thinking about you. Hell, yeah, I can't think of a time when I ain't got you on my mind. I feel so guilty, man. But I can't see living my life without you though. Doing. Son, I promise it ain't what it look like. Well, it it look like you were here talking to a cake, daddy. Man, be quiet. I'm trying to get used to this dad shit, man. It's hard.
Y'all just expect me to quit eating sweets like that? Daddy, you, you don't need no sweets or no treats. You, you already built like that, Kate. Man, why you can't tell me something uplifting instead of janking all the damn time? Uplift? How much up you want me to lift? Daddy, I'm six. Never mind, man. God damn! Well, what can I have? My, my mama put your healthy meal from your fat man waist loss plan in the microwave. Look, you got asparagus, Ooh. salmon, ah. and, and you got some spaghetti squash too. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't want this. I can't have no steak and potato. No, sir, buddy. All right, man, I'll eat it. <laughs> but just one slice of cake, though? Daddy, you know what? I ain't doing no more talking. I'm, I'm just going to tell the crazy lady. What, boy? My, my daddy and I are trying to stay fat. I'm, I'm trying to get him his asparagus. And, and he ain't not talking about cake, 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 cake. That man must think he Rihanna. He, he triple her size. He three hunter. And I don't even care no more. I love hard folk, God knows I do. But I kill him dead before I let him eat me. So, so you just gonna let him do whatever he wanna do? We can't want it more than he want it. You right, mama. Well, I'm finna go jank him till he do right. Mm-hmm. Daddy, where you at? I'm right here. Well, what you snacking on? Oh, th that was some asparagus. Oh, where you been at? I had to run and get something out the shop real quick. Hold on. Why are you questioning me? I'm the daddy. See, you done made me mad. I'm finna go to sleep. Take your ass to bed. Bye. But, Daddy, it's only 5.30 in the daytime. Bye. Now, what was my daddy doing out here? What's under this sheet? Mm-mm-mm. This a doggone shame. See, my mama won't help me. Look like I'ma have to just call the popos. One, what's your emergency? Yes, ma'am. I I would like to report a crime. Okay, what's going on? My my daddy got a bunch of coke in our garage, and and he got greens in the freezer. It's it's tons of it. I ain't never seen so much coke and greens. And and ma'am, he been getting more cake than anybody in the city. I I told my mama. But she act like she's scared of him or something. Don't worry, we're on the way. You did the right thing, little boy. Aha! Uh -huh. Caught you red-handed. Boy, I wasn't even finna get that cake. I was exercising. I was just walking like a praying mantis. You don't know nothing about that. That's some Mariah shit. More like fat Mariah. Oh, I'm finna whoop yo. Police freeze! You ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Uh, uh, we, we gonna ask everybody before we get ready to hear the church announcement from Gigi to prepare themselves to send the cash app offering. Didn't we already have a dog on offer? I know what you're thinking. We already had an offer. <clears throat> Amen, Pastor. Oh, hush that fuss, Otis. But you see, we didn't had us a benevolent offer. We didn't had us a love offer. But I know that uh he moved through all things. So we got to have us a electric offering because uh uh he uh sees it all and that's why we call it uh iphone and you better believe samsung 
praises to the galaxy. And after you tell me God good, next tell your neighbor. This man is a crook, Glory. My iPhone ain't got nothing to do with your eye. Granddaddy, you, you don't know how to use cash up, do it. That's why you mad. Oh, I know how to dial out and answer my phone. I use all kind of gadgets on that thing. And ain't none of them more complicated than these doggone phones. I remember when we ain't had a phone. Oh, we had to write letters. Your butt probably don't even know what a stamp is. Uh, uh-huh. My mama just bought some stamps from her friend. Cause, cause hers got cut off. Cause them folks had seen my daddy stand with us. And, and him tried to tell the lady he was the candle man, but... But her ain't believe him, cause, cause he was eating a big old bowl of Fruit Loops in his drawers, watching TV. Yep. Mm hmm Oh, since you want to talk about drawers, I'm gonna beat you right up out of yours. Soon church over with. I know when that cash out thing. That can only mean one thing. Now come on up here, Gigi. Read the announcement. First, give an honor to God, who is the head of my life. And honor to Reverend Lemmy Hola Dollar, who is the leader of our flock. Who is the leader of our flock? Our first announcement is, uh, don't forget the church bake sale. We gonna be doing it this Saturday. No, excuse me, this Tuesday, outside the bingo hall. And Mother Margaret will be making her famous Pepto-Bismol pastries. They will be safe to eat for all members with sensitive stomachs. Mm-hmm. Can we get an amen for Mother Margaret, y'all? Amen. She's still making them pastries at 92 years old. Oh, Ooh-wee. I, I think Mother Margaret need one of them Pepto pastries right now. And also, we want to keep Brother Billy Bohannon in our prayers. He went to the doctor about his arm and got a shot and had an allergic reaction in his leg. Oh my Mrs. Bohannon say one arm bent up and one of his legs is straight. And he been laid in bed like a flamingo, she said. <laughs> There's some good news, though. She posted his picture on Facebook. And now the Florida Lottery want to let him be the logo. <laughs> oh, don't laugh at that man, fat boy. I bet if they deep fried a flamingo, you'll eat it. Your wig made out of flamingo. Oh, and we can't forget the church elections are coming up. And we will be asking everybody to cast their votes next Sunday. Now, so far... Deacon Peabody is running uncontested for chairman of the Deacon Board. Brother Ernest is running uncontested as the leader of the trustees. And Mother Margaret is still going to be our head matron, as nobody else's name is on the ballot. And finally, I myself am running uncontested for church clerk, and I will be serving for the 25th consecutive. Mm-hmm. Not so fast. You gonna get this work if you wanna be the clerk. Who said that? Wait, is that Shirley? Yeah, it's me. I'm back. And I'm coming to take what's rightfully mine, sucker. Gigi, what? What's wrong? You ain't said nothing since we got in from church. Who? Who that lady was in that big old, weak old Kung Lu hat messing with you? Oh, uh, I, I think I forgot the, uh, uh, I need to put some gas in my bicycle and, and a chain on my car. Uh, daddy, that's backwards, ain't it? Hell, y'all do everything backwards anyway. Just leave me alone. Gigi, we good? You gotta talk to us? Who's that lady? Oh, that was Sister Shirley. Why she got you so pressed, Mama? It all started 40 years ago. Me and Shirley were best friends. 
We was at a tent revival. Red was a young man then. He had all his teeth. He was tall and handsome as ever. Well, come to find out, Shirley liked Red, and I ain't even know that. Red was preaching up a storm this day. You hear me? The spirit was full in the tent. Out of everybody in the tent, he walked up to us and said, If you feel in the spirit, I want to hear it. Let him use you. I can't hold it in. Then, Ralph started speaking in tongues. He said, Abba, lele, le, boshe. Abba, lele, le, boshe. Eating her body in a hundy. Then, he touched Shirley's head. And she passed up. And then Rev started to look at me. I ain't know what to do. I just started making up stuff. I said, E-G-L, E-G-L. Well, what? What that mean, G-G? Babe, I don't know. Well, when I did that, Rev started jumping for joy and hugged me. He had forgot Sister Shirley was on the floor. The truth is, she never fainted. She was just falling out, hoping Red was gonna love on her. And when she seen him paying more attention to me, she got up and left out the church. Mm-hmm. I didn't see her for a real long time after that. Then one day, I sent Otis to the grocery store to get some lunch meat. She saw Otis and walked right behind him. Do you know this lady had the nerve and walked right behind him and smacked him right on the booty in the middle of the store? I mean, she hit the yams right in front of the ham. She got herself some free Boston bud that day. Well, what granddaddy do? Oh, he ain't do shit. That's why he got up and left, because he know I'm still mad about that. He didn't even tell me. Well, how you found out? This lady called me late that night with blues music playing in the background, talking about, Hello, Gigi, this is Shirley. You may not know who I am. I said, I do know who the hell you is, girl. Then she said, I saw your man today at the supermarket. And since you can't leave my man alone, I wanted to show you that you can play that game. What you talking about, Shirley? Oh, you had tears rolling down my cheek. So I made sure to grab a handful of his. I screamed his name. I said, Otis! And then what happened? This getting real interesting. Oh, she disappeared. We ain't seen her in 40 some years. Now she want to pop up out of nowhere, trying to steal my position, my man, and my preacher. I ain't going for it. I gotta win this bake sale. If everybody like my cooking best, I'll win they hearts. They'll know I'm the best cook and the best clerk. Mm-hmm. Sure will. What? What about Mother Margaret Pepto Bismol Booty Cakes? <laughs> or, or whatever y'all call it. It's Pepto Pastries, boy. But Mother Margaret gonna have to run me my trophy. You hear me? But, but don't the people still got to vote? Yes. But folks love to eat. Them politicians be giving folks chicken and watermelon for votes all the time. So that's what I'm going to do. What you whipping up over here, GG? My red velvet supreme cupcakes. Ooh. They real good, too. Mm-hmm. I got to go get the nuts out the car. That's all that's missing. Hey, uh, what you think made Shirley come back after all this time? Well, to be honest, I think this bake sale is just a sham. I really think she came to see me. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! I'm sorry, GG. But people want red velvet, not red ribbit. I understand, real. Hold on. It, it ain't till that fat 
lady sing, and my daddy ain't no lady. Say what? GG, all, all the supplies we need in the church kitchen. Rev, give us 20 minutes. Ooh. Ooh, cheesy. Hold on, cheesy. I think I need to go back to the store. For what? What you forget? I forgot the stuff to make the macaroni. Mama, that's, that's above your pay grade anyway. We told you already. The collard greens, the dressing, and, and macaroni. These things are off limits for you. Until you go to Gigi's school or soul food, we gotta keep you on stuff you can handle. Like the cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. Cranberry sauce? That just come out the can here. Exactly. exactly. Y'all know what? I know somewhere both of y'all can go. And it start with an H and end with an L. Ooh, I know. Hospital. Cause, cause that's where we gonna end up if you make that macaroni. Ooh, y'all don't even care about my feelings, huh? Just say anything. Nah, baby, it ain't really that. It's just, you be making that struggle mac and cheese out the box. Real mac and cheese supposed to be made from scratch. You know what's made from scratch, run? What? All that ashness on your fat ass. Cause it's dry as a camel's mustache, and all you do is scratch it. Toasty! Ooh, camel's got a mustache like Steve Harvey. You know who Jay-Z is, don't it? Ooh, bars, mama. Bars. But for real, Keish, I'm just saying, baby, I think you should take a chance at the real macaroni this year. Hold on, now. Be quiet, boy. I have spoken. Wait, this a demonstration? Not a big tater chip? We supposed to vote? You mean democracy, boy? Not a dictatorship? <laughs> Talking about big tater chip. What the hell? Well, if it was food, I thought you were just gonna roll with it. And let me be great, daddy. I'm finna roll my fist across your rib cage if you keep talking. But nah, for real though, y'all. This Thanksgiving, let's do it old school. No boxed up food. And I even think me, Otis, and Run Run need to go hunting for the turkey. Mm-hmm. Hunting? See, man, every time you watch the Discovery Channel, you start tripping. You gotta be camouflaged to hunt, daddy. You, you ain't gonna blend in with nothing big as you is. You, you think them turkeys ain't gonna see you out there looking like an army tank? Boy, we hunting, and that's that. And we ain't taking no doggone guns. We doing it with bows and arrows like our ancestors. Ancestors? Girl, I got Indian in my blood. Boy, ain't nothing in your blood but diabetes. Do, do turkeys have nests like birds? Cause, Cause we could take my mama Whitney Houston wig and, and just sit it on the ground. They they gonna come right to us then cause, cause they gonna think they made it home sweet home. You ain't shit. Here turkey. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Here turkey. Boy, what the hell is you doing? I, I was watching YouTube. And they said you gotta do a turkey call to get the turkey to come to you. Mm-hmm. Y'all little young scutterbucks don't know nothing. I got the real turkey call right here. And I got some turkey pee. Oh hell nah, man. Put it on! Both of y'all. If we gon' hunt, we gon' hunt. You out here smelling like Gucci Guilty, talking about killing the damn turkey. Ain't gon' work. Man, I, I can't win for losing. Now I gotta be a turkey pregnancy test. And last but not least, I got these tail feathers. See, what we gonna do with these is, is you fan the feathers out from behind the bush. When that gobbler see them, he gonna think it's a hen. And then we'll be able to take them out. So now, we need to split up. Grandson, 
you take the tail feather. Big run, you take the bow and go hide in the bush. I'm gonna take my bow and the turkey call and we gonna see if we can get us some Thanksgiving dinner. Mm hmm Man, Otis, where you get all this stuff from? Boy, I used to turkey hunt all the time. I ain't been in a while, though. That's why I'm back to find an old friend. An uh, old friend? What you talking about, Otis? In these woods lives the oldest turkey on the planet. And I ran into him 42 Thanksgivings ago. I almost had him, but my gun jammed. You see them eyes? That's why folks call him the Green Goblin. We gonna get him today. Mm-hmm. Man, my, my mama could've got two turkeys for $22 at Publix. But nah, I'm out here in the wilderness with Sanford and Son. Oh. I don't even be eating the turkey anyway. It be dry. I'm finna call my daddy on the walkie-talkie. Hungry. Hungry hippo. Come in. I repeat, hungry, hungry hippo. What's your 20? Big sushi. Come in. Humpty Dumpty, can you hear me? Man, what in the world this dude doing? Oh no. Daddy. Oh no. You done brought me out here and you wanna be over here asleep? Uh uh, buddy. Look, Ma. See, his husky rump can't even stay up. That's a damn shame. Probably over there dreaming about Debbie Cakes. These doggone glasses fogging up so bad, I ought to be able to see without them. There he is. I got you this time. Where my arrows? Wake his big ass up. Watch, watch this, Mama. I'm finna scare him. Daddy, mama got your phone? She got your phone? Ooh, she got your phone. How'd she get my phone? It wasn't me, babe. Siri be texting them girls. Mm-hmm. Got you now, sucker. Here you go, Mr. Bush. They made you some macaroni for Thanksgiving. It's straight out the box. You ain't shit. Why y'all wasn't online playing Call of Duty last night? Good. I'm I'm on punishment. That's why I wasn't on. For what? Good. My my mama had told me to clean up the living room. So I was trying to dust the ceiling fan, but but I can't reach it. So I had to cut weed and put it on the end of a broomstick so so I can dust the fan. Then I tried to shake the dust off it, but but it was still dirty. So I had to put it in the washing machine. Mm-hmm. Man, I started watching TV and forgot all about it. I I heard the washing machine buzz, and my mama was like, who? Who got something in the washer? She came in my room holding it. She was like, boy, what's this? I said, it, it looks like a dead cat, mama. What you doing with that? Then her said, I'm finna be a dead cat on your ass. Meow. <laughs> she, she with me so long, I couldn't even feel it no more. That's crazy. So your mama smoked your ham and came on the field trip with you? Mm-mm-mm. That's that hurt. Yeah, man. She threw the book at me this time. I gotta be on my best, best behavior. Or, or I ain't never playing Call of Duty again. I see you, Junior, Junior, Daddy, at Chaperone, too. Look up there. He's spinning game to your mama. He ain't spinning no game. Ball head run. My, my mama don't like no bowling ball. But your daddy built like one, though. Don't. Don't your daddy got a fake leg? All the rappers need to send your dad a thank you card. Why? Cause he, he invented hip hop. Wow, neat. Why your opera car head wasn't online? Cause I'm manure. Manure? What's that? We in the first grade now. We gotta grow up. 
Then you say that run run. We can't be playing the game all the time. We got to be manure. You can play the game and still be manure, dude. My, my daddy play the game with me sometimes and he manure. Run, run your daddy not manure, dude. I rest my case. Uh-huh. Yes and me. Watch this. Wet boy. Ma. Little boy, what do you want? Is, is my daddy manure? I see taking that game wasn't enough. When we get off this bus, you might as well go ahead and hand me that phone too. Ma, I, I just asked a question. When I asked the question about my weed, you ain't have an answer. But to your answer, yes, yes, your daddy is a big fat pile of manure. You know I know a lady in Brazil. She make the finest wigs and hair pieces. Ooh. Well, why you ain't got one, Mr. Clean? See? See, I told y'all my daddy was manure. My, my mama said he a big pile of manure, too. Look at this. Run around what you gonna do, man. You sitting back here with us, you could be sitting up there with Jasmine. But you sitting back here talking about Call of Duty and Dad Cats. How long you been talking to Jasmine again? Man, I don't know. I don't keep up with that. I'm a Mac. Hey, Mac with no cheese, just some naked darn noodles. But for it though, how long? Um, uh, we've been talking for 22 months, 13 days, 41 minutes, and 13 seconds. Give or take. Ever since we had the book fair in pre-K, when I had to show her the cat in the hat. See, that ain't manure, and that ain't pee. I would've showed her Harry Potter. So y'all been talking that long, and you haven't got no kiss yet? No game, bro? No progress. Man, she she gave me a hug last week in the carpool line. Next, I'ma see if she wanna hold hands. I'm a gentleman. You can't just move in for the kid like that. Uh, a kiss is a big deal, especially for a girl. I do that too soon. Then she gonna want me to meet her baby dog. And I just ain't ready for all that yet. Besides that, came in one of y'all talk. Both of y'all still hugging teddy bears out right here. Man, if I had a girl, I would have been sitting back here talking about Call of Duty. If you want to do it, I'll do it for you. Watch this. Michelle. Hey, Michelle. <sighs> Let Run Run sit by Jasmine. Swap seats. <sighs> no! I'm not doing all that. Come on, Michelle. Nick like you anyway. Say what? He do? You better not break my heart, Nicholas. I be seeing how you look at me. I knew it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You want me to sit in your lap? Yeah, yeah, wherever. Just come on. Yeah. Looking at you like that. Who? Oh shit! Oh shit! Every day I gotta fight to prove my love. All right, kids, we're at the museum. I shouldn't have to say this, but we're gonna go in here and act like we have some sense and home training. Our chaperone, Ron's mom, Mrs. Keisha, and uh, uh, Junior Junior's dad, Junior Senior. We'll be helping me keep an eye on you guys. Especially you. I already know you're going to make me cut up. Matter of fact, you're going to walk with me. Come on here. Ooh, mama, look. They, they got a food court. This a damn shame. Look at everybody else over there looking at the dinosaur. You over here talking about snacks. You ain't going to have a fast metabolism your whole life. Going to mess around and be big as your daddy. Keep on playing. God damn. You need to be paying attention. Mess around and flunk history class. I got some for that ass. Look over there, mama. It's the history of wigs. Where? Mr. Junior Senior. Hey, little man. What's up? My, my mama said her like you, but she don't know how to tell you. 
For real. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Said your head look like a milk dud, and she love milk dud. Go over there and holler at her. What about your daddy? Her said him fat. Well, she did call him manure earlier. I'ma go over there. I ain't now. Hustle. Shoot, shoot. Man, what I'm gonna do? Junior, Junior over there gatekeeping my girl. Go check him. Respectfully. Be manure about it. How I'm gonna be manure when Junior, Junior ain't even manured me? I'ma go over there and try to talk it out and end up getting a wedgie. Come on, class. Time to get your sack lunches. You gonna eat your PB and J? Nah, man, you can have it. No, me. Don't get him your PB and J. Take your big butt over there and see if Mr. Adams got an extra PB and J. If if you want some more, big ugly dude. How about I just eat your PB and J then? Oh no, you ain't eating my dog on PB and J. When when I went to the bathroom to wash my hands. I went in the stall and took my drawers off. I'm full commando. Ain't gonna be no wedgie given today, buddy. Yay! Hey, bro, bro. I split my peanut butter and jelly sandwich with you, bro. Yeah, me too. Oh, I ain't tripping, y'all. When I had put my mama wig in the washing machine, I, I had found $10 in it. Ooh. I'm finna use that $10 to go to the food court. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got $10? Bet. Let me get that. Yay! Now I got $10, punk. I'm finna get a piece. He just stuck you for your paper, dog. Why are you smiling? Chess. Not chuckles, my man. Run around your mama cuss me out. She had an attitude as soon as I went over there. Because you told her that that bat cave was a wig exhibit. My bad, Mr. Junior Senior. But, hey, look like we getting ready to leave. And Junior Junior went to the food court. You better go get him. Bring your little narrow ass here. It's time to go talking about the history of wigs. There go Junior Junior and his daddy right there. Why the police over there talking to them? Well, I I ain't really get ten dollars at my mama weed. That was some fake money that that was at the president thing in the museum. Mm-hmm. They they had fake money for each president that was on a bill or a coin. Y'all y'all know I don't play fair. Look ugly dude. You ain't shit. Man, we says 30 minutes. 30 minutes, dog. And this man gonna be over there caking with this girl for the whole 30 minutes. I even I'm that manure. How much quality time does a woman really need? Man, we can't play four on four basketball. We can't play football either, cause he the QB. We just gotta sit here like three stooges. Jazz. Yes. You you know why I asked you to come to the sea star with me. No, why? Girl, cause ever since I saw you, I don't see nobody else. They, they say what goes up must come down. Whoever said that must have been talking about everything but my feelings for you. Oh, Ronald, you're so sweet. I, I got you something with my mama money card too. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't broken nothing. I just use my mama money card cause. Cause I had about too many V-Bucks for Fortnite. So her said, I can't get shit else for a whole month. Mm-hmm. Boy, what you got me? Junior Junior walking over to the seesaw. Uh-oh. Hey, Jazz. Mm, hey, Junior. You mind if I play with Ronald on the seesaw for a minute? No, man. You blocking. You... You too lame for that, bro. But nobody else will play with me. They also say I'm too big and scary. More like big and ugly. 
Ronald, stop being mean to that boy and playing with him for a minute. I'll be over there in the sandbox. Hey man, don't be ugly on the outside and the inside. Then you're gonna be like a Volvo. Come on, man. Yeah. Junior Junior, it smells like your cologne in here. Nick, give me some of that Skittles. Get your own. Look at him, still over there caking. That boy might as well start a bakery and call you cake daddies. Now, now that I got you alone again, I can finally give you your gift. Now I know there ain't no doggone ring pop. Nick, go stop him. He finna make the biggest mistake of his life. If that man manure enough to buy a ring pop for a girl, then he gotta be manure enough to live with the consequences. Jasmine, Lachey Rogers, I wanna give you this ring and ask you to be my Reggie. <laughs> How many Reggies you gotta get for that girl, bruh? Your booty ought to be wise me in a deep freezer by now. My, my draw's deep this time, y'all. I might pass out for real. How deep? Deeper than a verse from Kendra Lamar with, with that lady Erica Badu on the hook. <laughs> Yo, let me have a hand full of them Skittles and a straw. For what? Give it to me, man. Ain't no way, bro. Chef Curry, boy. Watch this. I don't even know why you be talking to that dude. Nigga, real. Y'all? Y'all know I don't play fair? You hoo hoo hoo.